Hello, my name is Caesar, and I just hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. 10,000 subscribers is a huge milestone for small YouTubers, so I wanted to put this video together to also help you guys out. I want to start off by telling you guys what my channel is all about. It's mainly about travel. If you guys are looking for more things to do here in Nassau, Bahamas, keep watching this video. We have more stuff to show you. But I also do hair fiber. Everywhere you see scalp, we're gonna slowly cover it. Like I said, you wanna make sure you match up the color of the hair fiber to your hair color, okay? I also do beard growth videos. Okay, my big area of concern is the spot right here. Hair does not grow there at all. My name is Caesar, and in this video, I'm gonna share the secret of growing a real beard. And I'm also doing a laser tattoo removal. <sighs> With that being said, there's a lot of controversy on YouTube right now about niching down, should you or should you not. I personally feel that I would have hit 10,000 subscribers a lot faster if I had one specific niche. But at the same time, I didn't want to talk about beard growth videos forever and also my laser tattoo removal videos, it's eventually going to be off and then I'm not going to have any more things to talk about once it's completely gone. Also, it's real tough to talk about just one topic when you're getting started with YouTube. My main goal when I first started was to help people succeed on YouTube. And I wasn't gonna start until I felt ready, and that time is now. I wanna talk about some of my heavy hitter videos that bring in most of my subscribers. Not only do these videos get a lot of views and subscribers, but they rank top three of their search term. Take my highest viewed video for instance, it has over 800,000 views within the two years and it varies between first, second and third ranked video when you're looking for hair fiber or hair fiber tips. The reason this video did so good is because the thumbnail is on point and nobody could really believe it so all they want to do is click on it to see if it's fake or real. A lot of people don't start on YouTube because they're waiting for that brand new Canon or that Sony 5 billion to come out. All you have to do is just get started. Believe it or not, I recorded this video with my phone and it's before I even had my microphone. So I used the built-in microphone from my phone. Actually, let's just take a quick listen to that video. In video, I'm going to be showing you how to properly apply hair fiber. Today, I have my brother, Abel Arambro. If you guys want to check out his page, I'm going to leave a subscription link in the description box below. Did you guys hear that echo? And by the way, I'm a little bit better on camera now. I want to let you guys in on a little secret. I'm actually recording this video right here with the same phone that I recorded the video from two years ago with. That goes to show you guys that it's not about the camera, it's about the content. So just spit knowledge on these videos when you guys are making them. And don't think just because I'm using my phone now that I'm not gonna upgrade to a nicer camera and probably make a video about it. So stay tuned for that one. My second most popular video has to do with laser tattoo removal. And this video has over 500,000 views. And it's also ranked as top three when you search it through YouTube and through Google, just like my number one video is. This video also has a bomb diggity thumbnail and it makes people want to click on it, even if they're not trying to remove their tattoo or even if they don't even have a tattoo, it just makes them want to click on it. The cool thing about this video that it leaves people wanting more. And that brings me to my next tip group like videos together and put them in a playlist. My laser tattoo removal playlist has more clicks than any of my other playlists. It keeps people on the hook and it keeps people wanting more and they just want to see that end result. 
Next tip is to include similar like videos in the description box along with clickable playlist links. I personally use Bitly, it's a URL shortener. It makes the link look nice and short and pretty instead of that long, ridiculous link. The coolest thing about hitting 10,000 subs on YouTube is you can start listing your t-shirt merch under your videos. This is Roberto Blake's channel and under all of his videos, he displays his merch that is on sale for anyone to buy, which increases his YouTube revenue. I plan on doing the same thing, so look out for that. But hands down, my favorite video to record are travel vlogs. I got a couple travel videos that are over 100,000 views and the reason they do so good is because I make the titles searchable. You might have heard this term before, especially if you're watching YouTube strategy videos. What I mean is make the title something that people actually search on Google. I use the free Keywords Everywhere Chrome extension along with scrolling all the way down on the first page of Google's related searches. This is what people are actually searching. This is what you want to title your videos. This actually helps for tags as well. Do not, I repeat, do not title your video, you'll never guess what happened to me yesterday. Nobody is going to physically type that in to the Google or the YouTube search engine. Big YouTubers could do this because they have a big following. So people are going to watch their videos regardless of the title. But when you're beginning, do not name it anything close to that. If you want to make a good travel video, make sure you have everything planned out. I usually take an outline with me and it has everything that I want to do that day. So don't just walk around with the camera pointed in your face and be like, But what should I eat now? I mean, I'm not even hungry. Or should I eat? I mean, I don't know. But I don't know. <laughs> Was that good? <laughs> That's what you want. Guys, please have a plan. Along with making searchable titles, you should think about making how-to videos to rack up your watch time. Watch time is the time people stick around on your videos. How-to videos get searched and people watch them more than just one time because they want to learn what's going on in the video. So that will help your channel out drastically. So take my first video of all time. That video was filmed with my phone, believe it or not, and I also did not have a tripod, so I would just set the phone up wherever I could to film at that time. That video now has over 125,000 views, and all I do is teach people how to unclog their washer. I'm just somewhat of a handyman, but you guys could take your skills and teach people the step-by-step -step process, like cutting hair, or even cooking videos. If you guys like this video, you'll probably like this video and this video. If you guys wanna grow on YouTube with advice that actually works, consider subscribing.